our discussion topic is mycorrhiza mycorrhiza is uh, one of the most important uh, symbiotic association between the higher plant root and fungi we know that uh, the higher plant can synthesize their own food and the fungal component that is fungal hyphae can absorb the nutrients from the soil and uh, this is this association is a bidirectional uh, exchange between the two partners here the two partners one is autotroph plant and another one is the heterotroph fungi so the host plant that is uh, higher plant root act as a carbon source for the fungus and uh, the uh, fungal hyphae uh, that is uh, fungi is a lower group uh, belongs to lower group and they absorb the mineral nutrients from the soil and supply to the uh, plant so this is the association this responsible uh, for the uh, give and take policy and this association is known as mycorrhiza and this uh, association uh, probably uh, beneficial for the higher plants as well as for the fungal hyphae that is higher plant and fungi both are benefited from this association and this association first named by the frank in 1885 uh, and known as the mycorrhiza and uh, the plural form which is known as mycorrhizae there are different types of mycorrhizae although based on uh, scientist peterson and franker 1994 the mycorrhizae are classified into seven different types one is ectomycorrhizae next one is the vam vascular arbuscular mycorrhizae this is this is very important one endomycorrhizae ectendomycorrhizae sentinoid mycorrhizae orchidoid mycorrhizae and monotropoid mycorrhizae in this lecture i mainly discuss mainly discuss about the uh, ectomycorrhizae ectendomycorrhizae and vam first come to the ectomycorrhizae we know that ecto means outer area and mycorrhizae already we discuss about the mycorrhizae so ectomycorrhizae is known as seeding mycorrhizae because this type of mycorrhizae form a covering outer surface of the plant root and this mycorrhizae uh, generally cause extensive branching and growth of roots and modification of the branching pattern if we look at the uh, picture Uh, it shows that the fungal hyphae surrounded uh, outside of the mycorrhizae and they form the ectomycorrhizae that is the hypha of fungi form a covering uh, towards the outside of plant root and this type of the uh, branching uh, formed in between if we see in the fungus and pinus in gymnosperm Uh, here if we see that there are uh, they occur in 3% of all seed plants in so ectomycorrhizae responsible for the uh, main uh, absorption of uh, minerals from the outer uh, from the soil next we come to the endo mycorrhiza before that uh, if we see this figure uh, it shows a uh, overall concept about the mycorrhizae this one is the ecto mycorrhizae here we see that the fungal hyphae uh, cover the outer surface of the root and if we see in the endo mycorrhizae the fungal hyphae penetrate to the inside of the plant root and if we see the ectendo mycorrhizae that is the fungal hyphae cover uh, outside as well as inside the fungal hyphae and another two one is the orchoid mycorrhizae and ericoid mycorrhizae so, so uh,
so this figure uh, uh, gives a idea about the total different mycorrhizal type next come to the uh, vesicular or vascular mycorrhizae or vam this one is very important and here the uh, two term vesicular and arbuscular that is this type of mycorrhizae form a vesicle and arbuscle due to the presence of two uh, different characteristics that is vesicle and arbuscles this type of mycorrhiza is known as vam vesicular arbuscular mycorrhizae and in this type in this type of endomycorrhizal association both the vesicles and arbuscles develop together and they responsible for the absorption of minerals from soil as well as they uptake some uh, their uh, necessity nutrients from the plant so if we uh, see the structure or figure of the vam it shows that within the root plant root the vesicle is formed and in some areas the arbuscle is formed that is the vesicle and arbuscle these are the two main characteristic feature of vam or vesicular arbuscular mycorrhizae it is uh, reported that more than 90% of the land plant responsible for the uh, vam formation and if we see in case of bryophyte pteridophyte gymnosperm and most of the angiosperm commonly leguminosae rosaceae graminae and pami they uh, uh, responsible for this uh, type of association and uh, if we see another one is that vam is not found in ericaceae and orchidaceae where other type of association is available vam has been reported in lower devonian plant rhinia also next come to the ectendo mycorrhizae ecto and endo this term uh, uh, related to the uh, two different types that is one is the ecto mycorrhizae and another one is the endo mycorrhizae some members of the family ericaceae and member of uh, uh, other families of ericales have shows this type of mycorrhiza in this type the fungal hyphae associate or form a association from the outside as well as in the inside of the cell that's why it form a ectendo mycorrhiza in arbustus the root system is differentiated into long and short roots the short roots are swollen and covered by hyphal mantle hutting net is absent in this association very very important hutting net but intercellular coils develop in the outer cortical cell intercellular coils if we see this is the intercellular coils which is developed in the outer coiling uh, outer cortical cell and uh, the in this association the uh, absorption frequency or absorption uh, tendency is very much high than the uh, ectomycorrhiza or endomycorrhiza because both type of Uh, uh, association we found in this ectendo mycorrhizae let's come to the why we study about the mycorrhizae what are the importance of mycorrhizae that is uh, we always try to get benefit from different association so why uh, what are the benefits what are the importance or what are the significance of mycorrhizae in agriculture as well as in forestry because agriculture and forestry these are the two main pathway or these are the two main stream for our uh, benefit from agriculture we get food from forestry we get different types of timber or different plants so first one is the agriculture if we see that the mycorrhizal association helps in the formation of dichotomous branching and profuse uh, root growth thus enhances the plant growth that is plant growth responsible by the mycorrhizae because uh, minerals association uh, also helps in the uh, their uh, different biological activity as well as they reserve the minerals which one uh, describe in the second point next one third one is 
they also help in absorption of nutrients uh, this one is very much related to the second point uh, next fourth point in nutrient deficient soil if nutrients are less in the soil then this type of association very much important for this nutrient deficient soil because the plant sometimes cannot absorb the minerals when the nutrients are deficient in the soil at that time the mycorrhizal association that is fungi help directly for the absorption of different essential minerals like nitrogen calcium potassium phosphorus zinc iron etc etc so these are the very important element we already know that nitrogen is one of the most important element calcium which is responsible for the um, cell wall development or middle lamella development calcium pectate next one uh, the mycorrhizal association responsible for the germination so we know that germination is one of the most important part of uh, plant uh, survival or plant life cycle so this type of association also helps in the germination of orchid seeds so these are the main uh, role of mycorrhizae in agriculture let's come to the forestry we know forest that means uh, huge number of uh, long tree or timber plants we uh, uh, form forestry as well as uh, uh, harp sarp and uh, there are so many types of variations are found in the uh, forestry so first one mycorrhiza plays an important role to establish forest in unfavorable location why unfavorable location unfavorable location means uh, the type of location where minerals or water are not very much available for the plant that's why it is known as unfavorable condition so in this condition the mycorrhiza or fungal hyphae responsible for the absorption of minerals which is very much important for the plant biological system or plant life cycle second point trees with facultative endomycorrhiza we know facultative and obligatory facultative means which are sometimes require or not require that means the requirement is not necessity or uh, and obligatory means requirement is highly necessary so facultative endom endomycorrhiza act as fast invader in wasteland as a pioneer in plant succession first wasteland where the plant is not uh, uh, present or plant is not cannot grow uh, in this condition the mycorrhizal association uh, responsible that means plant and fungal hyphae responsible for the uh, development of plant succession third one the application of mycorrhizal fungi in forest bed enhances the formation of mycorrhizal association that prevents the entry of fungal root pathogen this fungal association one of the most important thing if we see that the, fung the pathogen cannot attack when the fungal hyphae present in the root the fungal pathogen which cause the root decay or uh, root necro necrosis they cannot infect in the high, higher plant root that's why mycorrhizal association is important next one is mycorrhiza mixed uh, nitrogenous compounds such as nitrate ammonia etc it is available to the plant thus it helps in plant growth especially in acidic soil we know that we cannot absorb nitrate uh, or ammonia directly as well as plant also cannot absorb the nitrogen that's why they depend on the bacterial association as well as in the mycorrhizal association so these are the main important uh, so if we uh, think about the question from uh, mycorrhizae first one is what is mycorrhizae what are the type of mycorrhizae uh, just write short note on ectomycorrhiza endomycorrhiza as well as vam and uh, another question is the role of mycorrhizae in uh, forestry as well as in agriculture